In Fusion, there's the timeline down below, and this is where you could understand how something was created. If I press play, it's gonna take me through all the different features that were created. And Fusion recognizes a parent-child relationship between certain things. And this is going to impact how you can reorder your timeline. So let's take a look at creating a simple sketch. I extrude it. I add a fillet to the top face. When I look down at the timeline, I have a sketch, an extrude, and a fillet. Now you are able to drag and reorder the timeline. And this can be very helpful when you need to use certain features. For example, let's say that I had a plane up in space. I use our top plane and we'll create this plane up in space. What I'd like to do is redefine this sketch plane and put it on this new plane. I will not be able to do that because the new plane does not exist yet. This is where if I could drag the brand new plane earlier in the timeline, that would be helpful and I can. So let's talk about why you can do it sometimes and why you can't in others. When we look at this fillet, this fillet only exists because there's an extrude and the extrude needs a sketch. So this is the perfect order of children and parents. So this is the parent of the extrude. The extrude is the parent of the fillet. The fillet cannot exist without the extrude. If I try to drag it before, it's not gonna let me because of their relationship. Now, if I were to go create a sketch off in space, just this rectangle, and maybe even extrude it. Separate body, not related in any way to our original. It has a sketch and a feature in the timeline. I am able to drag these before the others. So if I go back in the timeline now and look, you can see that all that exists is this block. Even though we just did it, we reorganized it so that it's now early or first in the timeline. Now, when it comes to assemblies, it's going to be very similar where I've created this box that would encompass these other components. And it's this red color. I can basically move this anywhere I want in the timeline because it was created separately and because it doesn't really reference any of these other components or their sketches. Now, the way I created these components, they are basically dependent on each other, where this extrude only starts from where this one is complete. So this lighter blue color and this yellow, I cannot drag this lighter blue. Let's try it anyway. So I'm going to drag it to the beginning. It won't let me. I'm going to try to drag the yellow past it. It won't let me. Right. So that's kind of how it's going to work in the assemblies as well, that the children can never be dragged in front of their parents. They can never be created before the parent is created. Hey, I hope this helps. I've created a quick cheat sheet for this one. I'll throw that in the free resources library and I'll link that below. I'll see you guys in the next video.